Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the control board in your electric range, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. Open the oven door and use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the control panel's lower cover. Remove the cover. Next, unthread the two screws securing the control panel to the frame. Place a towel on the cooktop surface, then detach the control panel and rest it on the towel. Note the orientation of the wire connectors, then disconnect them. Set the control panel aside. Now unthread the front bracket screws, securing the main top. Unthread the two screws underneath the rear corners of the top. Pull the main top back and up to remove, then set it aside. Next, unthread the screws to detach the center front bracket. Now unthread the four screws securing the element support panel to the side panels. You can now detach the panel from the front brackets for more clearance to the control board. Remove the screws securing the control board mounting plate. Pull the assembly forward. Note the orientation of the wire connectors connected to the board then disconnect them. Prepare the new control board for installation by transferring the mounting plate from the old board to the new one. Transfer the ribbon connector as well. Connect the wire connectors to the appropriate terminals.
Position the control board assembly so the tab on the bottom of the mounting plate is inserted into the slot in the panel. Thread and tighten the mounting screws. Realign the element support panel by snapping the tabs into the front brackets. Replace the screws. Reposition the center front bracket and secure it with the screws. Reposition the main top by sliding the rear edge under the lip of the element support panel, then lower the front edge. Replace all of the screws to secure. Connect all of the wire connectors to the appropriate terminals on the control panel. Realign the control panel on the front brackets. Secure it with the screws. Replace the lower cover, then thread the screws to secure. Plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply and the electric range should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.